Let's do this. Hello, everyone. It is Monday, March 12th in the year of our Lord, 2012. How are all you doing today? I'm doing awesome. Wicked awesome. It's only four more days till Friday, and it is hot as can be. 80 degrees right now. It got up to 84. This garage feels like a sauna. It's insane. I'm dying over here. Dying. I'm used to my uh, English weather when I used to live there. What the heck is that? <coughs> That's different. What is that? It's Amy. Amy? It's, it's Roby's sister because, because Roby was trying to hit somebody with her hammer. Mm -hmm. But instead she hit a rock and it bounced back at her. And she fell down and broke her back on another rock. So she can't be on the show today. Oh, that sucks. I know. Oh, well, she, maybe she was trying to hit Eli Manning and he had rocks in his head. Oh, yeah. And that's probably why it bounced back. That makes sense because Eli Manning's dumber than a box of rocks anyway. So that might have something to do with it. All right. Right to business, folks. <coughs> Sam Adams, Whitewater IPA India Pale Ale, in case you don't understand acronyms. Bless you twice, Delilah. Um, yeah, I'm trying to have it focused, but it's not working very well because I got the shakes. Permanent shakes. Permanent nerve damage. That's what happens. It's a uh, wheat It's a wheat ale brewed with apricots and spices. I have never had this beer before. Ever. Whitewater IPA. 5.8%. Good beer for hot weather, actually. Let's just hope it tastes good. Hi, Amy. Because you know what Amy did? What did Amy do? When you pop the beer open, she was like... She fell backwards. That's a damn good beer. Not bad. IPAs are hit or miss. Oh, Amy brought a friend. Oh, well, hurry up because we got to get to the birthday shout outs. Hi. Who's that? I'm Tails. Oh, Tails. Hi, Tails. Oh. My, my shoes used to have spilled smoothie on them because I was trying to drink out of the smoothie cup and then I spilled smoothie on my shoe. Oh, way to go, you klutz. Oh, okay. All right, birthday time. Uh, right off the bat, my man Bill Fitch. How you doing, my friend? Worked with you in Amber England. Amber is not a klutz. That would be her best friend, Amber. She, she's a klutz, trust me. Yes. We love her to death, but she's a klutz. Uh, Bill Fitch, happy birthday to you, brother. Hope you're doing well. Um, I'm not sure, brother. Party hard and enjoy. Yes. Miss working with you. Great guy, always smiling, cheerful, down to earth, good people. Rosie's going to be on the show. She might, because Amy might have to, Amy or Tails might have to carry her. Oh, okay. Well, these next two people were both born the same month, day, and year. My friends Chad Knight and Justin Dillinger, a.k.a. Dillbilly. Wow. Yeah, Dillbilly and Chad Knight. Those two guys are awesome. Um, I worked with both of them in England. And uh, one of them is a pointy head, the other one's a knuckle dragger, and they're both kick-ass guys. I haven't heard from either one of them in a while. I, I hear from Dill Billy here and there, but Chad, I haven't heard from you in a long time. Drop a line and say, hey, how are you? <laughs> so, Dill Billy, Chad, happy birthday to you fellas. My and Tails brought a friend. Uh-oh. Next one. She, he brought a friend. Oh, who's that? It's Rosie. Oh, hi, Ro Rosie's back? I thought she was injured. Oh, she's Is that why she's laying on the ground like that? He's having to carry her? Because she's lazy and broken? Hmm. Hi. Hi. I'm going to have to say that stupid Eli Manning made me hit a rock. That Eli Manning and is a schmuck. And made me bounce back. Ugh. Eli will kick you in the face. Repeatedly. Yeah, with steel toe friend. boots. You suck, Eli. Horrible. She's only my best friend. All right, I got to get to these birthdays, baby daughters. Okay, next on the list, Dave Lee. He was the first person I ever met in my entire career profession that was born in the 80s. It's his birthday today. In fact, I had a friend who decided to retire when she met him because he was born when she graduated high school. Wow. Dave Lee, happy birthday to you, my friend. I saw you drop a line on, and I got to respond back to you. Great hearing from you. Been a while, so I will definitely 
respond to your message that I saw earlier. I was wicked busy earlier today, so unable to do that. But happy birthday to you, my friend. Next on the list is the best life support person I've ever seen in England. My friend, Holly Dean. How you doing? Always smiling. Absolutely awesome young lady. I saw you responded to my happy birthday post earlier today. And I will definitely respond to you. Party hard and enjoy, but not too hard. Don't be drinking and driving. You might spill your drink. Or you might kill somebody or yourself. Or injure someone. And then you get arrested and deported. And get to spend the rest of your life in an exotic uh, federal prison or something. So yeah. Drinking and driving dumber than rooting for the Yankees. Ugh. And dumber than hitting a rock with a hammer. Well, some people hit rocks with hammers, but it can be kind of dumb. Yeah. Um, next on the list. What are they supposed to do with hammers? They can only use sharp hammers to, to sculpt something. All right. Next on the list is uh, my friend Nestor Manny Lord Poofinator Garcia. Happy birthday to you, brother. Hope you're doing well. We always nicknamed him Poof because one second he was there, next second he was gone, like magic. Dude just... But truth be told, great guy, awesome guy. He's doing well for himself. Great to hear from you. Uh, so Manny, happy birthday to you, my friend. These next two were both born on the same month, day, and year. One of them is a uh, English cop, my friend Matt Saint Andre. What's up, brother? From Rhode Island, fellow Red Sox, Patriots, Celtics, Bruins fan, wicked hardcore, awesome guy. Always a pleasure keeping in touch with you. So. Hope to hear from you again soon. Hope to hear some comments on this here video. And I hope you enjoy it. And uh, the other one you were born in the same month, day, year is my friend Brandon Ansbro. Montana Knuckle Dragon Crew Chief. Great guy I used to work with in England. Um, unfortunately, it looks like he deleted his uh, Facebook page a few days ago. Brandon, bad timing. I was hoping to drop you a happy birthday message. Luckily, I memorized your birthday because I'm weird like that. What do you expect with an IQ of 158, you know? Sorry, I was trying to tear this off of the box. <clears throat> oh, my. So if anybody knows Brandon Ansbro, let him know that the love doctor sent him some birthday love. Not that kind of love. Get your mind out of the gutter. Next on the list, milestone birthday. My friend, Look Lawrence up. Bunger. Look I work with him here in Yeehaw, Texas. Look who I'm carrying. Oh, Rosie's broken. Yeah. <laughs> broken like the brain cells of an average Lakers fan. Yep. Anyway, so, Dr. Bunger, happy milestone birthday to you, my friend. Um, you seemed all nonchalant. Like, I don't care if it's my birthday, but damn it, it's an awesome day. And it's a milestone this year. So, celebrate like yours truly, Dr. B, is. Yeah, let's do it <sighs> Hurry up. All right. And finally, there is one more birthday to mention. It was actually yesterday. My friend Marlon Fox, who I am going to give a shout out to. Thank you for letting me know about your son's birthday. Think, your son, Justin Jones. I think Tail should keep him away from Amy. I think so, too. Let's go, baby. But Justin, happy birthday to you, my friend. I have yet to meet you, but I'm sure I will soon enough. If you're... If you're if you're half as cool as your old man, then you're an awesome guy. Because, Marlon, you are one BMF. Bad mofo. That's right. Awesome guy. A good Jetsicle indeed. I work with him here in Yeehaw, Texas. Yes? What is that? Is that Sonic? Yep. Hey, there's one that I know. Amazing. Sonic's been around since 1991. <coughs> He's old enough to drink now. That's pretty cool. No, I'm not. No? Oh, okay. Um, I am going to give one shout out to my friend Dakota Price. He's from Daddy! he's oh, from boy. Southern Kansas, otherwise known as Oklahoma. And Dakota, um, miss the hell out of you, buddy. I know you and Brandon were really tight, so maybe you could shoot him a shoot him a message. And say, hey, the love doctor sends you a happy birthday message. All right. Sonic is running from Amy. Oh no. So Leave me alone already. Dakota, hope you're doing well. Um, Always a pleasure hearing from you. Keep in touch like you like you actually do. I appreciate that. Always a pleasure to keep in touch with my friends. So, shout outs are out of the way. That was a lot of birthdays today. I guess people like to have sex around um, June 12th, huh? Approximately. Today's license plate. I'm going back to Indiana. Kind of like the Jackson 5 saying, 
1971, I think it was, maybe 72, going back to Indiana, back home again in Indiana, maybe that's what it was. I actually have the uh, album on cassette. But yeah, 1992, mint condition, that would be a U.S. Reserve Forces license plate. Pretty freaking cool, isn't it? It's a single plate. I guess Indiana uses single plates, at least for that. So there you go. There's the license plate of the day. Song of the day. We're going to start it right off. I'm ready. Muddy Waters, 1954. If this ain't some awesome blues. I don't know what it is. That's right. Ooh. Now let me tell you a story about this song. I thought it was recorded January 7th, 1954. I was wrong. It was recorded September 1st, 1954. Chess Records, number 7697. Muddy Waters, obviously, on the vocals. Um, Little Walter on the... Uh, Little Walter was on the harp, otherwise known as mouth harp, otherwise known as harmonica. You'll hear him. Awesome, awesome harp blower. No question about it. One of the best pianists around. The late, great Otis Spann is on the piano for this. Guitar is played by the late, great Jimmy Rogers. The string bass is played by the late, great Willie Dixon, who is one of the most phenomenal blues songwriters ever. And then finally, the drummer, who also is a, a badass in his own right, the late, great Fred Below. That is an all-star cast of true, wicked awesomeness. Nice. Yes, I bought this entire nine CD box set back in 1995 for $29.77 in Lake Elsinore Outlet Store in California. I'm sorry, this one was $34.77. I take that back. The Howlin' Wolf set that I have is a 7 CD set. Listen to Little Walter. Wow. I bought the Howlin' Wolf set for $29.77. 7 CDs, 151 songs. This one's 9 CDs, 205 songs for $34.77. I love legal crime. I don't know. Where'd he go? Well, get him out of the boxes. Oh, he's gone. He's gone, stolen. Wow. Violent. She is mad. She's crazy. Hey, no offense, but usually women do get kind of crazy. Um, don't forget. Mustache Man this month. Keep it. Support it. It's an awesome cause. You gotta make a mustache? And men, you are not alone. Women, grow them. If you nair, under there, under your nose, that is. Um, don't do it this month. If you shave, don't do it this month. If you wax, if you diet, don't do it this month. Let it grow. Support Mustache Madness Month. And I know some women out there that can definitely grow some mustaches that would make me jealous. I, the, red, the red mustache was the only one I could find. Well, red's better than nothing. And red is better than dead. That's right. I have a mustache. All right, we got to go because this is already a 14-minute show. So everybody take care. Have only a minute. wicked awesome night and day. Only one more minute and then I have to go swimming. Peace, Peace be the journey. journey. That's right. Regular and feeders are heading out. I shaved my mustache off. <gasps> I gotta go and put a fake one on. Mm, you better hurry. We gotta go. And then you say bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Mustache is wrong. Can I keep your nose? Mustache ride. Bye-bye. Can I keep your nose nice and warm? That's right. Bye. Bye.